Made a latte. Yeah, that came out all right. Broke my three inch kestrel a couple of weeks ago. Got it stuck up pretty high up in a tree. And I had to turtle my way, you know, turtle, not turtle, just fly, hit the gas, hit the roll pitch, whatever. Fell out of one set of branches, fell into another, did that again, hit the ground, and the Caddx turtle stopped working. So I had to wait for a new turtle to show up before I could fly that again. And in the meantime, Beta Flight 4.0 got released, and I'm almost positive I flashed Beta Flight 4.0 to the 3-inch Kestrel before I got to fly it. But it has a new turtle in it, it has a re at least a recent version of Beta Flight, and I may or may not have, I really should document this stuff, I might have applied the, on the Beta Flight wiki for 4.0, there's a set of presets for freestyle quadcopters, and I pasted those into my 3-inch and my 4-inch. I think I pasted it into both of them, I'm not real sure. But I took my 3-inch out, and it tried to take off into space as soon as it got off the ground. I brought it home. Oh, I didn't just bring it home. I, when I disarmed it, it landed on the pavement, broke a Caddx turtle lens in half, smashed my brand new ND filter. It's a good thing I bought two of them, two of each. But yeah, that, that smashed, that was a bummer. Brought it home, I took those, I. Brought it back to stock Beta Flight 4.0, the actual new released 4.0. Put my rates and settings on there, and I even went so far as to put the... No, I'm lying. I'm not sure if I did. Took that back out, and it was not happy still. It was uh, definitely a D-term kind of oscillation, just at mid-throttle. Dropped the D-term in half to a ridiculously low number, like like 12 or 15 or something for pitch and roll and it was kind of flying all right motors were slightly warm still though so something something's not right i'm wondering if i did something else up in that tree than just smash my burn out my caddx turtle but we'll see i checked the filters i double checked i rechecked i have to take it out again i'll probably take it out this this weekend that's tomorrow to give that a try but who knows i screwed up it happens. But I got to try one of the little Caddx ND16 filters on my 4-inch quad. I put maybe a half a dozen batteries through it. Is that what I wrote down? I didn't. I think about a half a dozen batteries by now. And I have to say the ND filter is just a huge, huge upgrade. I've got to buy more. They're a little bit problematic. You can see the in the corners. Can I get out into the corners? A little bit of vignetting, a little bit of not just vignetting, there's a uh, actual black in the corners. And I could see some uh, lens flare in the when you're flying in the wrong directions. But everything looks a little better. The sky looks a little bluer. The uh, I've been unhappy whenever you do any kind of quick I don't fly all that slow in my freestyle and I don't like I don't like the way any of my yaw moves look in the turtle, and the ND filters made those kind of bearable. That little bit of motion blur in the grass and in the leaves and whatnot, just, I'm much happier with it. The skies look a little bit bluer, trees look a little nicer, everything just looks better with the ND filter, and it's not bothering my FPV view at all. I'm very, very pleased. I swear, when I wasn't using the ND filter, I was lucky if I've gotten one or two minutes of footage that I was pleased with out of the turtle. It's just nowhere near as good as a GoPro. But now with the ND filter, I'm starting to not be embarrassed by the footage. So that's a huge upgrade. I've got to order more. I've only used the ND16 filter. It's always been sunny days. And to tell you the truth, I'd go up to an ND32. And I think that would give me... Yeah, I think the ND16 brings it up to brings the shutter speed down to around where the GoPro session 5 is without an ND filter. I don't know, I don't have a way to measure that, but I'm guessing that's approximately true. So 
Putting an ND32 on there would be like putting a little ND filter, like an ND8, on a GoPro session. And I think that would be nice through the 4-inch. Do you think that's true? I'll bet it's pretty close to accurate. I was really hoping to fly the 3-inch and the 4-inch on the same day at the same time, but I got uh, hosed there, so I didn't get to do that. But got to fly the 4-inch, got to fly it with the ND filter, and I'm really pleased with the 4-inch. The 4-inch feels a lot more like a 5-inch than the 3-inch does. Is that a lot of inches that I'm talking about? I don't like the way that sounds. If I was writing that, I'd reword that somehow. But, you know, when you're coming out of a, an S-turn or a power loop with the 3-inch, when you're, when you're coming in and you just want to skim the ground, I always want to give it just a little... It takes a lot of throttle to not hit the ground, and I always want to give it just a little too much, and then I end up rising instead of coming out smooth and with the four inch it's a lot easier it's you don't need as much throttle to not hit the ground after the after the power loop or the s-turn and that makes it easier to not give it too much and come up out of your out of your yeah to gain altitude at the end it's i like the way it feels better and i'm disappointed that the flight times are lower i was kind of expecting you know i'm getting about five five and a half minutes out of the three inch and I was expecting that the 4-inch, the 4x3x3 four by three by three HQ props, I was kind of hoping I'd get another minute, maybe a minute and a half out of, out of the bigger, more efficient props, but it's just not working out that way. They can draw a lot more amps up high at full throttle. They don't peter out as quickly as the 3-inch props do. They should be more efficient cruising. I don't think they are, though. But the way it's working out is I'm getting 4.5 to 5 minutes of fairly aggressive freestyle over at the golf course out of the four inch and that's right around a 30 seconds to a minute less than i get out of the three inch and i think that's a good trade i like the way the five inch feels wish it weighed a little less than 270 grams i think it'd be awesome if it was 250 grams but it's not there maybe we'll work on that yeah i tried six inch props on all of my five inch quads and all of my powerful five inch quads the one with like f40 v2 motors or zmx Phoenix 30 motors or, you know, these big, big powerful motors, they all fly longer on six inch props. They can, if you're just cruising, they get an extra two, three, maybe even four minutes of, uh, you know, that slow 30 mile an hour flying and doing freestyle, they get another, you know, they go from four, four and a half minutes up to four and a half, five, a little over five minutes of freestyle with the five and a half or six inch props. The only 5-inch quad that, that didn't work out on was my little B-Fight 210. That's a little cheap bind and fly with little, I think they're 2204 or 2205 cheap motors. They've got to be cheap motors. And on that one, it just, it was a wash. It's same flight time no matter what on 5-inch, five 5.5-inch, five inch or 6-inch. I think the motors just aren't powerful enough, at least down low. They don't have enough torque, I guess. And the same thing happened with the four the four inch props on my little 1606 motors. I think there's just not enough power to realize that efficiency gain. But what can you do? I was really hoping we can get like an eight, seven or eight minute flight for a, some long range, but that's not going to happen. I think the three my three inch would be a better long range quad than the four inch. But what can you do, right? I'm not sure what we're doing next. I I know I brought my 4-inch and 3-inch up to uh, the release of Betaflight 4.0, and I made sure there was plenty of filtering back on the 3-inch. I might take his lid off and put it back on just to see if there's any. Maybe there's a wire over touching my gyro or something, something stupid. Who knows? But I'd like to get the 3-inch and the 4-inch out at the same park on the same day with the same ND filter and get some better comparison footage. We'll see how that works out, though. Um... Yeah, I'm working on, you probably, if you're watching this video, you probably know that I'm designing this 3-inch, uh, 4-inch open source HD microframe called the Kestrel. Um, I'm looking into having it manufactured. I could probably talk for five minutes just about that. Maybe I'll make another video today while I'm recording. But if you're interested in the progress on that, you can check out my other videos. You can check out my blog posts. It's The design is completely open source. You can go cut one yourself. You can manufacture them yourself. I'll be a little bummed out if you manufacture them 
and don't cut me in on that. That'll be a, a bummer. But it's to be expected. You know, I know companies in China clone frames all the time, and they don't even have to clone mine. You can just go grab the DXF files and cut one, and that's fine. I don't. I won't be too upset. Oh, face tracking just turned back on. How does that work? I don't understand. I don't quite understand the Osmo Pocket, Judy. You know, if you're interested in supporting my work on my open source frame, you could uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel, check out the other videos, take a look at my blog. There's links to the source code for the Kestrel. It's up on gitlab.com and Thingiverse. And, you know, there's all kinds of words written about it on my blog. And there's all kinds of videos up here already. And there'll be more to come. But yeah, I appreciate any liking and subscribing and comments are great. Ask me any questions you want to. And I don't know why you would, but you can support me on Patreon. There's links to this stuff down there. Um, I don't know how to... I don't know how to use Patreon. I'm posting on there every once in a while. But yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm learning. I'd rather you buy a frame. I can't sell you a frame yet, but I'd rather you buy a frame than support me on Patreon. But we'll see. We'll get there. Um, I'm going to sign off here. You guys uh, have a good day. Good to talk to you.